Okay, so we'll go over upper respiratory once again. Different model. Frontal sinus, sphenoidal sinus, sphenoid bone, cella tercica, right where the pituitary is. Here's where the ethmoid bone lives. So there's the crystagali and parts of the ethmoid uh, superior nasal concha, middle nasal concha. Inferior nasal concha, its own bone, frontal bone. And you can see nicely here the nasal bone, supersize the nasal cartilage, and then here we come into the uh, maxillary bone. This is the hard palate. And then the palatine bone, and then the soft palate. Okay, the roof of the mouth, but it's also the base of the nasal cavity. Uh, the opening is known as the external nair, the vestibule, the main cavity, the external nair, leading into the pharynx. Okay. This is the zone of the pharynx. Nasopharynx, oropharynx, laryngopharynx. They're all connected. It's an air passageway. Now, the other things we can see on the way there from other discussions we had, here's one of the tonsils, pharyngeal, uh, palatine, lingual. Okay, there's, of course, the tongue. And then here we make our way down to the larynx. And the larynx is multiple components that make up basically this region. And again, the air has to pass through that on the way to the trachea. From this view, you see the main cartilage, known as the thyroid cartilage of the larynx. You see the hyoid bone. This is a ligament. We remove this. You can then see another piece of cartilage, the cricoid, and some of the muscle tissue that controls movement of the cartilaginous pieces within the uh, larynx. We'll, we'll see them in a moment. This represents the epiglottis and the opening represents the glottis. Right? And the whole point of the epiglottis is this. It's waving to you. See that? Hello everyone. Welcome back. See that? The epiglottis seals the glottis when you swallow food or drink. Because notice that the two passageways, right? Air and then food and liquid, the esophagus is behind the air passageway. So when food and liquid enter, is it going into the esophagus or is it going into the larynx? Well, closing the glottis prevents it from going into the larynx and enters the esophagus. Okay. So that's the epiglottis. It seals the opening known as the glottis. And the glottis opens into what's known as the larynx.